Hi friends! Today we're going to learn all about homopolar motors and electromagnetism. In this activity, you're going to build a tiny dancer out of copper wire that's going to spin on top of a battery. Now these dancers, they're actually called homopolar motors, all right? And it's demonstrating a force called the Lorentz force. Um, now, a homopolar motor doesn't really have much practical use, all right, but it's just an electric motor that uses direct current, all right, to create a continuous circular motion. And they were invented in 1821 by Michael Faraday. Um, now, like I said, it doesn't have much practical use, but it does demonstrate the effects of electromagnetism, all right, and it shows how an electric motor works. So why don't I show you what you're going to need to do this, and hey, let's put together a tiny dancer. To make your own tiny dancer or homopolar motor, you're going to need these things. A hot glue gun, some wire cutters, a pair of needle nose pliers, a AA battery, at least three neodymium magnets, some 18 gauge copper wire, and some crepe paper, whatever color you want. Let's get building, y'all. Now it's not easy to bend your copper wire into your tiny dancer shape. So I encourage you to, number one, take your time. All right, number two, use these needle nose pliers. And number three, find yourself a tiny dancer template online. It makes it much easier to get the proper shape. After you've completed bending your copper wire into your tiny dancer shape, well, you're ready to put on the, uh, the Tiny Dancer outfit. So, get out your crepe paper, get out a pair of scissors, and you want to cut just a little, like a little square of crepe paper. Just like so. And I'm going to cut two just to make it a little bit extra fancy. All right. And so I'm going to take my crepe paper, I'm going to line it up, I'm going to do a kitty corner like that. All right. And now I'm going to thread it through. I'm just going to kind of poke through it with the copper wire. And then I'm going to thread through it, thread it through the copper wire, just like so. All right, until I get to where the, the skirt needs to be. All right, just like so. And I get through this little second wire right there. All right, and I scooch that up. And then this is where the hot glue gun comes into place. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a little, a little, just a little dollop of hot glue right there. Not very much. You don't need very much hot glue at all. All right, and then I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna push my skirt down just a little bit like that. Let that let that solidify, cool. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of bend my bend my and fold my uh, my crepe paper into the shape that I want it. So now I have a little tiny dancer. Let's see if we can get this dancer dancing. This next part of the tiny dancer activity is probably the most challenging part because you have to bend and play with your copper wire okay, until it stays balanced on top of that battery. Um, so, hey, there's a lot of putting it on, testing it out, taking it off, rebending, putting it back on, trying it out. So a lot of problem solving is involved in this. To get your tiny dancer working properly, you have to make sure that your copper wire is wrapped around your battery and the magnet. When you originally bend your tiny dancer, it comes out as kind of a flat shape, but you have to play with it so you get this rounded shape where it wraps around the battery and the neodymium magnet. So as you're playing with your copper wire and getting your tiny dancer into the right shape to be able to spin on top of the battery, well, you can also start getting that battery and those magnets ready. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need those at least three neodymium magnets. Now these ones are uh, about a half inch wide by one eighth inch thick, and then you're gonna need your AA battery. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna take those neodymium uh, magnets and stick them to the negative side of the battery just like this. And then you can just put your battery down on the table, just like so. As I was saying, this is the most challenging part of the activity, getting that tiny dancer balanced 
and wrapped around the battery and the magnet so that it, it can spin. Um, but once you get it right and you get through all those frustrations and that trial and error, it is pretty cool to watch it eventually spin, just like so. <laughs> and you're gonna notice it's not gonna stay on forever, but it will, it will stay on for a little while and it will spin around. And there's your tiny dancer. <laughs> hey, very cool. Now, if you're finding it challenging uh, to keep your tiny dancer on your battery, um, there are some other copper wire shapes that you can bend that, that might be a little bit easier to get on that battery. Um, one, is a, one is a rectangle like that. Um, that's where you uh, connect it to the battery and that's where it will wrap around the magnet. Um, or you can uh, you could do kind of a like a corkscrew spiral uh, shape. Um, so that's where it will sit on the battery and that's where it will wrap around the magnet. So hey, let's check these ones so out. So here I have my, my corkscrew shape. I'm just gonna kind of put that over the top of the battery. Put that right down on the positive side and, and then I'm just gonna let it start going. All right, now none of these are ever gonna be perfect. All right, and you can keep trying and bending and everything, but you know what? They are gonna fall off and you're gonna have to put them back on. Um, but hey, it is kind of cool watching them spin around. There it goes, there it goes. And here, let's see if I can get this one going too over here. All right, here we go. Hey, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> there you go. Now you might be wondering how this works. A homopolar motor creates circular motion thanks to what's called the Lorentz effect. Now, when a copper wire connects to the positive part of the battery, all right, and then it interacts with the, with the magnets at the negative part, you complete a direct current uh, circuit that allows electricity to flow. And this creates what's called an electromagnetic field that interacts with the field that's being produced by the magnet. Now, the Lorentz effect is the result and well, as a result, well, it causes your wire to turn and spin, and that's how you get your tiny dancer. Hey, there you go. <laughs> as, a, um, as a note of caution, um, when you do create an electrical uh, circuit, um, well, electricity creates heat, and the copper wire is going to heat up, the battery is going to heat up, and the magnets are gonna heat up. All right, now if things start getting a little hot, just take everything apart and let them cool off. Hey friends, so I purchased all of this stuff that I use for Tiny Dancers on Amazon, and it's all fairly inexpensive. Um, the magnets were about five bucks, uh, the copper wire was about five bucks, and uh, I think I got the batteries at Costco. So um, you could do this all for about $10, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy making your Tiny Dancers and getting them spinning, and uh, hey, have a blast out there.